Merry Bookmas! Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I have a special announcement for you guys. So today I would like to introduce you guys to the 12 days of Bookmas. So basically what Bookmas is, is I really like to do holiday themed videos every Christmas. It's just I like doing it. I did a couple of gift guides last year and I did a book tag last year, but I didn't want to do that again. So I came up with the idea of Bookmas with the help of some of my friends. So basically what it is, is it's based off of the 12 days of of Christmas and what I have is it's a 12 day video a thon and read a thon where you try to read as much as you can in 12 days whatever books you want to read but there are topics for the videos for each day so today I'm going to be telling you guys the topics and you guys can put out a video every day just like I'm going to be it's starting on the 13th and then going all the way up until Christmas so I'm gonna be pre-filming all my videos just because I'm in exams up until the 17th so it's just much easier but yeah I really hope that you guys will participate. You can also, for the readathon, you can participate on Twitter. That's mostly going to be a Twitter-based readathon, um, but I would really love if you guys would participate in the book miss fun. It's going to be a great time. But without further ado, let's get into the topics for book miss. On the first day of book miss, my true love gave to me a beautiful book miss tree. So basically, that means on the first day of book miss, we are going to be building book miss trees. So I'm sure you guys have seen the Christmas trees made out of books with all the lights on them and they look beautiful. They're really hard to make actually, but what you're going to be doing is trying to build that in a video. You can talk while you're building it, you can put music, I put music, but it's just kind of a fun little thing to make your little book mystery. On the second day of book, Miss My True Love gave to me two awful endings. What you, so this one's pretty straightforward, but what you're going to do is take two books or two series that you hated the endings of, and you're going to talk about why you hated them. So, for example, you can rant about Mockingjay, or you can rant about Allegiant, which are probably going to be the two main ones that are ranted about. On the third day of book, Miss My True Love gave to me three best friends. So on the third day, you're going to talk about your three favorite friendships or best friendships from whatever books, doesn't really matter, just talk about three best friends. On the fourth day of book, Miss My True Love gave to me four cozy reads. So this one you can kind of interpret how you want, but um, I'm just going to be talking about books that I read when I kind of want to feel warm and cozy and like the books that are picture having like a cup of hot chocolate and just marshmallows and drinking that and having this book and having on fuzzy socks and be a fabulous time. On the fifth day of book, Miss My True Love gave to me five hours of crying. This one I thought was kind of funny. Basically, um, you can talk about however many, maybe if you want to do five books, however many you want to do, I'll probably do five, but um, five books that made you cry the most, like books that made you cry, basically. Just weep and just awful, just ugh. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six overhyped releases. This is another straightforward one, basically just books that you think are overhyped. Six of them, talk about them. On the seventh day of book, Miss My True Love gave to me seven fantasy worlds. Another straightforward one, just talk about seven fantasy worlds that you think are awesome, why you think they're awesome, if you want to live there, all that jazz. On the eighth day of book, Miss My True Love gave to me eight fantastic classics. So for this one, you just talk about eight of your favorite classics. This is very straightforward, but I'm still going to explain it because my singing is awful. On the ninth day of book, Miss My True Love gave to me nine kick-ass ladies. So for this one, you just pick um, nine characters, nine female characters that you just think are really badass and inspiring and empowering and all for female power. So it doesn't have to be necessarily the main character. It can be. You can pick a side character. Whoever. On the 10th day of book, Miss My True Love gave to me 10 fictional crushes. Basically, you're just going to talk about your 10 biggest, like, just swoon-worthy crushes that you read about and just you love them. You get it. I didn't need to explain it, but I still am. And on the 12th day of book, Miss My True Love gave to me 12 amazing booktubers. 
So for the last day, I thought that it would be appropriate to have 12 booktuber recommendations. So you can do popular booktubers, you can do lesser known booktubers. I'm probably going to do half and half. So I'll do like my six favorite that you have definitely heard of and then my six favorite that you have probably not heard of. So then you guys can hear about some new ones. But you kind of get the point. I just think it would be fun to recommend some new booktubers for the last day of Bookmas. I think it would be fun. So yeah, those are all of the topics for Bookmas. They will all be down below, so then you can have like a comprehensive list of them. But like I said, basically the idea of it is that you do a video every day for 12 days straight. If you only want to do some of them, then go ahead, do some of them. It doesn't bug me. I'm going to do all of them, obviously, because I'm posting this. Um, in the readathon, like I said, you can read whatever you want. I'm not really... I'm probably not going to be reading 12 books because that's a lot and I'm in finals for kind of half of this um, but I just think it would be fun to have a little book miss readathon and just it's gonna be a fun time I think book miss is going to be an annual fantastic festive thing if you're participating in Harry Xmas to you then you can participate in book miss the readathon and you can just read the Harry Potter books that you're reading it all just works out very nicely so yeah if you wanted to Instagram what you're doing for Bookmas. If you just want to do it on Instagram or on Twitter, I don't really care. Participate however you want. As long as you participate, I'm a happy camper. Um, so everything is going to be under the hashtag Mary Bookmas. So everything, everything for the readathon, the videoathon, all that stuff. Um, in the mornings, I will be posting a reminder of what the video topic is for that day, um, and I will probably post my video earlier so then you guys can have kind of like an idea of how to do the video in case you didn't understand it. But yeah, um, I'm really excited about this. I hope you. You guys are really excited about it. It's going to be super, super fun. Um, if you wanted to follow me on Twitter, it's at HillsHeartsMYC and on Instagram at HillsHeartsMYC. That's mostly where I'm going to be posting um, the stuff for the book miss, all that jazz. And I'll also probably post some stuff on Snapchat because I always do. It's also at HillsHeartsMYC. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you guys will participate. Let me know if you are planning on participating or if you have any questions, tweet me comment down below, all that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!